Hi there, adventurers! Welcome back to Miss Maggie's Reading Adventures, where every page turns into an exciting journey. Today we have a special story lined up for you. Have you ever felt different from everyone else? Well, today's tale is about a little duckling who felt just that way. Get ready to dive into the ugly duckling and find out how this little bird's adventure unfolds. So snuggle up, open your ears, and let the adventure begin. Miss Maggie's Reading Adventure. The Ugly Duckling, from a story by Hans Christian Andersen, adapted by Kate Sullivan Watkins, illustrated by Heather Brown. One bright, sunny morning, in a corner of an old farmyard, a mother duck watched proudly as her ducklings hatched from their eggs. The five new ducklings were tiny and covered with soft yellow feathers. But the mother duck was puzzled because one egg did not hatch. This egg was much larger than the others. An old duck came waddling down the path and stopped to admire the new ducklings. What is wrong with that egg? The old duck asked. I don't know, the mother duck replied, but for some reason it won't hatch. The old duck looked carefully at the egg. Well, that's a turkey egg, he said. Leave it alone and go teach your new babies how to swim. No, said the mother duck. I have taken care of this egg for this long. I will stay with it until the duckling hatches. So the mother duck continued to sit until the large egg began to wobble and crack. Finally, out came an unusual looking baby bird. He was covered with rough gray feathers and he was much bigger than the other ducklings. His feet were large and clumsy and his neck was long and skinny. When the other birds in the farmyard saw him, they began to squawk. What an ugly duckling, honked the geese. A very strange duckling indeed, clucked the hens. Even the turkeys laughed at the new baby. The poor duckling really did feel ugly. He made his way to a nearby lake to hide in the tall grass. He stayed hidden all summer long. One night, when the moon was shining brightly on the lake, the lonely duckling saw winged creatures gliding through the sky. These magnificent swans cast graceful shadows as they flew through the night. The duckling stood still to admire them. Oh, how he longed to fly. When winter came to the lake, the duckling grew cold, and he had trouble finding food to eat. One morning, the duckling slipped on the ice of the frozen lake. A kind farmer found him lying helpless and scared on the ice. The farmer wrapped him in his coat and carried him back to the nice, warm barn. The duckling stayed in the barn, and the farmer took care of him for the rest of the long, harsh winter. Spring finally arrived, and the farmer led the duckling out of the barn. The duckling had grown. Feeling stronger than ever before, he flapped his wings gently in the warm light of the sun. To his surprise, he flew right off the ground into the bright sky. He landed near some reeds at the edge of a peaceful pond. He could hear children playing nearby on the bank. Once again, he saw the lovely swans. This time, they were drifting through the water. Afraid they might laugh at him, the ugly duckling lowered his head in shame. As he looked down at the reflection in the still water, he saw another swan that was just as splendid as the others. After a moment, he realized he was staring at his own reflection. He was amazed at how beautiful he had become. He was not an ugly duckling. In fact, he had never been a duckling at all, but a swan in the making. He glided into the water and joined the other swans. When the children saw him, they began to shout, Look at the new swan! He is the most splendid of them all! He was no longer an ugly duckling, but a graceful and beautiful swan. With this proud thought, 
his heart almost burst with happiness and joy. The end. Wow, adventurers, wasn't that an amazing story? The Ugly Duckling reminds us that we all grow and change in our own time, and that what makes us different can be our greatest strength. Remember, just like the Ugly Duckling turned into a beautiful swan, you too have your own unique beauty waiting to shine. If you enjoyed this adventure, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an adventure. I know someone who probably especially enjoyed this book, and that has our friend Jeff from Florence, Kansas. Hello, Jeff. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for suggesting we go on this adventure together. I have an official Reading Adventurers bookmark on the way to you as an extra thank you. Join us next time on Miss Maggie's Reading Adventures for another exciting tale. Until then, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and remember, you are beautiful just the way you are. See you on our next adventure.